it is a beautiful snowy morning here in Little Tin, Colorado. I woke up and I was like, whoa, it snowed overnight. And I saw on the highway, they have like these signs <clears throat> letting people know, oh, wintry mix. And I'm like, no, there's no way. Well, yeah, it looks like maybe like in two or three inches on the ground. So it's really pretty, especially with the mountains behind it. So since my last vlog, I think I had like a five day trip and then I was able to finally go home for three days. Oh my goodness. It was so nice going home. And then I just finished a three day trip. Now I have two days off and then I'm going back to Houston. I haven't been back to my base in Houston to work in over a month. So I'm excited because there are new destinations that I haven't done yet. So, um, but yeah, and it's going to be warmer. Like right now it's 29 degrees outside. That's a little cold. Just a little. <laughs> so today, honestly, I have like put some things together to do. I'm going back to Colorado Springs. A lot of things there to do are expensive and I don't really want to go out in the cold today. Like I would love to do some hiking, but it's going to be cold. Tomorrow's going to be 59. And I don't have to be back at the airport till the afternoon. So we'll kind of just see what happens. So today may be more of indoor stuff to do, but I'm still excited because I love just driving in these beautiful mountains. So yeah. I'm gonna go get some coffee first and also wait for the traffic to die down. I looked at the maps this morning and it's like red street here, yellow street here. I'm like, it's only eight o'clock, so rush hour. So yeah, just gonna chill out for a little bit and then I head out. All right, I went to this little coffee shop that's kind of in this plaza <clears throat> with a bunch of other stuff. It was like literally two minutes from my hotel called Bean Foster's and I got a honey cinnamon latte. It is so good. So good. And they also have a couple of gluten and vegan uh, pastries and they have them individually wrapped. So I got a strawberry shortcake piece of bread. So excited to have that later. So now I'm going to head down to Colorado Springs and start the day. All right, y'all. There was like several bad accidents on my way down to Colorado Springs. So I decided to come up north and go to Boulder. Not disappointed. I feel like I'm in the middle of a painting or a postcard. It is absolutely beautiful. I came up to see Boulder Falls and the drive up here is beautiful. I'm in Roosevelt National Park. I just, I can't help but just be in awe. So I'm gonna get out and I'm just gonna show you all around. It's just so pretty here and it snowed. Look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. those views just as much as I did. It is just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I am just amazed. Oh my goodness. Anyway, there is a lot, a lot of hiking trails here to do in Boulder, Colorado. So many. I mean, one day maybe I'll finish them all. I don't know. But there's also a planetarium in Boulder. And then there is a uh, museum, a history museum that's in the downtown area, <clears throat> actually uh, near Pearl Street Mall, which is like a, their downtown, like historic area with a bunch of shopping centers. Um, I'm not gonna do that because it's a Monday, so a lot of things may not be open and it's freezing, but then again, I just did a hike. So I'm definitely gonna save it for um, next time I come back. There's a lot of trails that I wanna do, but like I said, there's snow on the ground and it's freezing. So. Excuse me. And the history museum is ten dollars, so I'm trying to be on a good budget this this time. So I am gonna go in. I'm actually looking for a suitcase, um, a certain suitcase. So I'm gonna go into a couple stores, and then we will continue on with some more, maybe hiking or free museums. Well, no success on finding a luggage, but it is lunchtime, and there is this burger place here that does gluten-free burgers. Well, gluten-free buns, the main thing. So I'm going to go get that 
and then there is a bakery here in Boulder as well that does gluten-free pastries so yay all right so meta burger was amazing their burgers are 100 percent plant-based you can kind of tell there's like obviously not a real meat taste but it was so good and their fries were crispy gluten-free and salty excellent then lucky's bakehouse they have a ton of gluten-free and dairy-free oh my goodness i decided not to go back to arveda arvada to get stuff because i'm like let me try another one and i'm not disappointed i got a donut and two other things and she double checked everything to make sure it didn't have almond flour in it thank you thank you thank you so now i'm gonna go back to my hotel because i got some groceries and then we're gonna go from there on my way back and i just had to stop and look at this beautiful view so after chilling out for a little bit i was like you know what i don't really want to drive all the way to colorado springs it's about an hour hour and 15 minute drive and then i'd run into traffic so i came across this park area yesterday when i was just driving around it's called deer canyon park and it's just so pretty so I'm just gonna do a little hiking. you guys enjoyed that hike it was an hour and 13 minutes two and a half miles beautiful i just love it here so much so this is dogwood no oh man i'll put the name right here <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i know it's canyon creek but i think i think it's dogwood but anyway absolutely beautiful so now i'm gonna go get something to drink and then just relax the rest of the day because i am my legs and <laughs> everything are exhausted. And I'm not gonna do anything uh, special for dinner tonight because I have stuff in my hotel. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I can't wait to explore more of Colorado again and new states, I promise new states are coming. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching and make sure you subscribe. Mm -hmm.